Hey guys, it's me, uh, Hain from the PC Helpers, and here's another tutorial for you. Um, this one involves Photoshop, though. Uh, this one is going to show you how to not make a picture better, but to give the picture more depth and lighting. So, uh, this is completely for Photoshop users. So, open up your Photoshop. And then, uh, let's open up a pi picture here. Uh, let's go to the resource pack, stocks. Now, I'm, I'm going to use uh, Hayden Panettiere since I am, crap, uh, since I'm madly in love with her. So, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, what's a good one of her? Uh, let's use... Let's use this one. Alright. So, uh, we have this one. Uh, let me see if I can view it 100% here. Alright, so, uh, we're viewing it at 100% right now. So, we're gonna, so what you're gonna do is, since this, this layer is locked, so make a new layer, uh, control shift N if you, uh, if you're in the shortcuts. If not, uh, come up here to, uh, layer, new, layer. And then just press OK. Or I'm gonna type in a name. I can't spell Gaussian. and it's a hard word. <laughs> alright, anyways, um alright, so uh, you want to apply the image. Uh, just go up to image, apply image, or uh, control shift alt and E at the same time. And just press OK. Now you're gonna go to filter, blur. And then Gaussian Blur. That's how you spell it. And then go to... Uh, I was always told 4.9 looks best. So, uh, alright. Now, you see all, all this, how it doesn't look right, correct? Now, I'm going to show you how to make it look good. Go to uh, the layer here. And then go to Soft Light. See how it, 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 it adds lighting to the lighter spots? And how... Alright. Look. See it? Makes it look really good, right? Oh, this picture is from uh, her bringing on the movie or whatever it was. I never watched it. All right, let's uh, let's try with a different picture here. Um. Ooh, nice butt. <laughs> um. Uh, picture with a little more lighting. Do it with. Uh, I really don't know. Let's do it with this Jennifer Garner one. I'm not a big fan of her, but, uh... Alright, so make a new layer, like I said. Now I know how to spell it. And then apply the image again. Then filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. Same settings. And set it on light. Or, uh, soft light. My bad. See how it, uh... It creates a lot... A lot more uh, color, a lot, because uh, cameras can only do so much. And see, uh, we have this. And it, and I guess if you wanted to, you could go to lighten. And see how it creates like a, like a glow on things, like like the water. That's a really cool, a really really cool effect. A uh, screen, uh, no. Overlay, I know a lot of you like it. That's a decent looking photo, I guess. I mean. It, it creates a little too much so I think soft light works best with that now let me show you one that might be suitable for uh, for overlay let me find one here uh, I'm gonna use Hayden again here since uh, I adore her I can't help it but uh, same thing as before new layer apply image I'm using I'm I'm using shortcuts so uh Gaussian blur uh overlay now uh I know what you're thinking it looks bad right but uh in photography and stuff uh you can use Photoshop so uh then we, uh, crap let's erase this and then take take a hundred soft brush and then just go over her face like so see. Nah, probably not that much, but, uh, 
about like that. But see how across her butt and stuff, how it, it creates an amazing effect. That's an amazing uh, water effect. Her face wasn't very bright to begin with, so erasing it probably uh, wouldn't make it look any better. Eh, that's not too bad. But uh, it creates an amazing effect. I really, I, I really think it does. Uh, this is a uh, another tutorial from uh, Haynes. Um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, have a good one.